began tattooing in Goa um, when I was 27 and I had a huge heartbreak and arrived to India with nothing to share with anybody and very low self-esteem and a lot of energy to heal um, and I ended up to be on the back of a girlfriend's motorbike and had an accident and had a big burn on my leg that took a long time to heal so I decided to get my feet tattooed while I couldn't walk and I couldn't swim anyway and for part of my own healing process um, to ground and come back to myself and so I went I heard about this man Simon who was working by hand and went to him I had no idea that he would pass me the needles but went to him for him to do the work and we started to talk about art and told him that I was a painter and told him my history and he asked me if I wanted to try it and why didn't I do it to myself and so I was like okay and I did and he pushed me through to work on both of my feet in very strong initiation and somehow the next day I woke up with a purpose and somehow all of my friends offered their skin um, and the journey began of traveling around the world with the ink and the needles. never thought about actually doing being a tattoo artist because I didn't like the machine and I had no attraction to be learning mechanics and the vibration the sound sitting in a studio a two-year apprenticeship all of those things never appealed to me and so the hand technique because you're so first of all you can move anywhere you can tattoo anywhere up in trees and mountains volcanoes anywhere you want because you don't need any electricity or anything so that creates a whole other experience of taking in energy from that environment and giving somebody an opportunity to be in you know, phenomenal magical sacred spaces nature spaces and also the traditions and the simplicity it's pro the technique I use is probably the most simple technique ever just a needle on a stick and yet you can pretty much do anything with it. Oh. My spiritual practice is connected to the tattooing in almost every moment because the key that I learned is that you're a channel and you have a responsibility of keeping that channel clear that you're first of all able to um, able to put the ink permanently in someone's skin and be clear to be knowing what you're doing and also that you're channeling a spirit from um, an, or an energy from the universe and um, somehow that you're able to go into a dream time space to pull that out for somebody to see what their what they need or what they want and channel it for somebody and I, w I definitely see that as a spiritual experience because you're not necessarily in your body at that point and you're not necessarily thinking at that point. You're connecting to a design and a color and a person's spirit body um, through very intense meditation. Um, plus the focus and the concentration of the actual tattooing too can be a divinely spiritual experience and receiving the tattoo too because you have to go into a state of trance. 